Hey everybody, welcome back into the Blended Band Room. This week we're gonna go over three great websites for incorporating literacy into your classroom instruction. But first, if you like videos that talk about how to incorporate technology into your music or band classroom, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below for great content each and every week. We're gonna go over Pear Deck, News ELA, and Padlet, and how to incorporate reading, writing, and discussion, the three forms of literacy, into your music or band classroom. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first app we're gonna look at today is Pear Deck. It's a great app for your students to learn musical vocabulary. So you can see on the screen here, if we're learning about different types of rhythms and 4-4 time, we can put quarter note and it gives us a dictionary definition that we can edit later. And then we just add half note and all our different rhythms for our 4-4 meter that our students need to know. After we have included all of them, we press play flashcard factory and the fun can begin. Make sure that you show it on your classroom projector so your students can see it. And then your students will enter a code that was on the projector. It's gonna be a six letter code. It also has a saying there so the students can know what to do. So they get their tasks, they need to make amazing flashcards. It really fosters collaboration between students. And you can see on their device here on their phone is the best way for students to do this or a touch screen tablet or computer. They're going to get to draw a picture of what they think that rhythm looks like in this case. And then they're going to get to type something that will help them remember it. So in this case, since we're learning rhythms in 4-4 time, the student can type one beat and then select I'm done. They do the same thing for half notes and whole notes and eighth notes. And then once they create all of them, the teacher is gonna to get to approve them. So you can see we're gonna approve the whole note here. And then we're gonna approve the half note. We're gonna approve the quarter note. They all look good. And then on this eighth note, they drew two of them instead of one. So we're gonna to get to disapprove that. That's gonna get sent back to the group so that they can edit it and make it look even better. After going over a great way to incorporate musical vocabulary into your blended instruction, let's look at a more traditional form of literacy in reading. I use News ELA to build empathy in my students and also have them read while instruction's going on. So I might be teaching all the percussionists while my wind players are doing their News ELA and then we'll switch, kind of like we talked about in my Ed Puzzle video. But also a great way is when you have a sub. This can be something you can print out and give to your students and they can complete that. There's a writing prompt and a four question quiz for each article that comes with News ELA that you can print or have the students complete on their device. You can also change the Lexile level all the way up for this article to 12th grade and all the way down to third grade. This article is about a Native American tribe that played with the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra and they came together in celebration of Native American Day and experienced that day through music. It's a great way to show students that music can affect people in different ways and build that empathy if your students might not know about another culture. Let's go ahead and look at a great discussion resource called Padlet. Padlet's a great resource for incorporating discussion and writing into your music or band classroom. Let's look at some student and teacher created Padlets and how we can do that together. The first one I'm gonna show you is a timeline. And what I've done here is I pressed the plus button here at the beginning of the Padlet and I put 1917 in the first recording of the Dixieland Jazz Band. This is something that students can focus on and building this out all the way up to modern jazz and talking about how jazz has influenced our American culture. The next one is a discussion post where I've created a video that students can view ad-free right here on Padlet of Count Basie's Big Band. And I put a discussion prompt that says, compare and contrast the style of Count Basie's Big Band versus the music of Duke Ellington we looked at last week. Students could put a response right here. And again, they can add links, they can add pictures, they could put their name and what they think of, what they think of the music versus Duke Ellington and Count Basie. And they can write, and it can be as long as you want or as short as you want, but you can get that discussion started in your classroom today. I'm gonna wrap up today's video by saying, don't ever force these strategies into your classroom. If you're being asked by administrators 
to incorporate literacy, know that you're already doing it. Don't take these as the be all end all to have to force into your classroom. Be authentic in your assessment. Know that you're already incorporating literacy through reading music and decoding information. These are strategies that are important to students' development. And the biggest thing I can say is build discussion points in your classroom. Padlet can be a great way to do that for remote learners or online, but make sure that you're discussing, make sure that you're teaching students that vocabulary. Use these tools if you want to. Give this video a like if you liked the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content each week. Thank you for joining us this week on The Blended Banner.